My name is Jessica and this is Relatable Motherhood. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all the stuff that I have prepped and ready for my baby girl who's coming here at the end of October. So let me show you. I am vlogging this whole video on my husband's phone. Hopefully it comes out good. Where can I set you so I can show you my belly? <laughs> all right. This is the belly. 30 weeks. Whew. Getting there. So this is the current setup. I have all baby's clothes laid out because I'm going to show them to you. But this is my current setup for baby. Um, and this is how things are going to be for the first four to six months. Just kind of depends when she starts sitting up on her own. I will graduate her from her bassinet into um, probably a bigger pack and play. I, I don't like cribs. I've talked about this before. Hate them. My babies get their legs stuck in them and get bruises. Hate them. Um, so we have bassinet and underneath very messily is stuffed all of her swaddles and blankets. I will show you those in a bit. I like this a lot because the this part comes up and it zips shut. So I can take this into the living room with me and zip it shut and keep her safe from my almost two-year-old who will definitely want to touch baby sister all the time. <laughs> um, and then I just have my little side table um, and I took my pillow out to show you. I have used this boppy pillow with every baby and it's my favorite. You I use it to breastfeed and then I use it to help baby learn to sit up and then I use it as like a buffer behind baby after they've learned to sit up and then I, I use it for tummy time. It's just the best. I love boppy pillows and yeah. So I have one poppy pillow. Okay, and then this is just my little side table. I have three burp cloths, which my stepmom actually gave me. She got them at a street fair. And they have like minky on one side and cute patterns on the other side. Um, we'll see how well they work. Very cute though. And then I have like all the teeny tiny diapers. And there's also a pack of wipes hiding in there. And then these two drawers hold all her clothes and then on top i just have a heating pad because i know i'm gonna need it after i give birth and i have a night light i love this you can just tap it and it's very dim especially if you have it like on top of something i need a night light to breastfeed in the middle of the night i don't like breastfeeding in the dark because i for my past two babies and i'm sure for this baby i have to use a nipple shield when i breastfeed for my second child I had to use the shield all the way until she was eight months old. And then for my third child, I had, to, I had to think for a second. For my third child, I had to use the nipple shield until she was like eight weeks old. And then she got it. So hoping that happens again this time. But if not, I need a little bit of light in the room. And I really like having a little nightlight next to the bed um, that won't like totally disrupt my husband's sleep. Because um, I'm not going to the living room to breastfeed. That's not gonna happen. So for my babies, and really just for everybody in my family, I like to keep things as minimal as I possibly can. We live in a 725 square foot apartment. Um, it's, it's intense. And basically how I do things is I have about a week's worth of clothing for each member of our family, and we do laundry once or twice a week. So I'm gonna take you through, and I'm gonna show you not only the clothes that I have for the baby, but also just all the other baby things that I find to be super essential for having a newborn baby. I'm not like ultra minimalist, but I think you'll find that my collection is pretty small. Okay, so we'll start off over here with her jammies. Um, only three of them are zip up jammies. If I was buying everything new, I would probably opt for all of them to be zip ups, but Almost all of this was given to me secondhand, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, so we're going to make snaps work. There are nine pairs of footy pajamas in this collection. Some of them are fleece. Most of them are just cotton. She's going to be born at the end of October, um, but she's going to be able to wear all of these all the way through Christmas, most likely. And then coming over here, I have onesies. I have five short sleeve onesies and two long sleeve onesies, and then a couple long sleeve dresses. And then this 
is actually more of a spring outfit, but it's sentimental. So both of my other daughters have worn this little shirt and shorts combo, and I'm not about to leave my third daughter out of that. So I'm leaving it out. She's obviously gonna have to have like a blanket on to be warm, but we're gonna put it on her at least once <laughs> while she's tiny. And then I have pants. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I have seven pairs of pants for her. Chances are she won't be wearing pants very often. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is just having her in her onesies or the the nightgown things I'm about to show you with blank with like blankets on her. I don't see us going out of the house for the first month for sure, maybe two months. So we just gotta keep cozy in the house. So the pants will probably wait until a little later in the winter and probably only when we actually like go out and about. But over here I have my favorite thing, which is the nightgowns. I have one, two, three. I have six nightgowns for her. They are beautiful and cozy. They're so precious. The lighting's not the best, but you know, it like, it opens at the bottom for diaper changes and this one snaps along the, along the edge. This one is actually super special because it belonged to my other daughters too. So I love doing that. And then the last thing I have is just two little sweaters. This one should fit pretty soon after birth. This one, I'm going to have to roll the sleeves up on it. But again, it belonged to my youngest daughter. And I'm really excited to put it on my new daughter. And it's really nice and warm. This hat is so special. It actually belonged to my son, my oldest, who's eight, and we have put it on every baby ever since. Just one of those things. Just a cute little gray hat with ears that has stood the test of time. For blankets for baby, I have two of my favorite muslin swaddles. Just love them and I use them to death. So we've got two of those. I have three heavy warm blankets. This one is fleece and really soft on one side and then this one I've got from a like a, one of those free clothing places and I've used it for my last daughter and then this one my friend Cheyenne made for us and we used it a ton with our last daughter and I'm excited to use it again with this daughter so three nice warm blankets for our fall girl that's coming and then we have this sleep sack which I just love I just love it it's huge. It's a Burt's Bee Baby sleep sack, and it says size small, zero to six months. I just love it. It's like a, it's like the, the texture of um, like a cotton quilt, and it's beautiful, and it zips on both ends, which is cool. I'm pretty cautious. It's so funny. We do co-sleep a little bit. With each child, we co-sleep less and less, but we do co-sleep a little bit, and so I like the sleep sack because it's part of safe sleep. Um, you don't want baby to have an actual blanket asleep in your bed at night for obvious reasons. The sleep sack is just the best. Aside from all of this that I just showed you, we have one car seat for her, which is already installed in my van because no shame, I'm already nesting like crazy. We're ready. <laughs> um, so we have one car seat for her and then I think that's everything. Oh, I have one extra thing, and this is literally extra. It was gifted to me. It's not a dock a tot. One of those pillows that like makes it seem, it makes the baby feel like they're being held, you know? Let me take the tag, the case off and see what it's called. Okay, it's a Snuggle Me. Snuggle Me Organic. So my neighbor gave us this when she found out that we were pregnant and I thought that was so sweet. It was really sweet of her to gift it to us and I think we'll be able to use it now and then at least. Um, maybe I'm thinking like maybe in the middle of our bed if I need to like I fold laundry in our room or something like that you know I don't think I would want her to sleep in it overnight. So that is my minimal as I can get list show and tell of all the stuff that we have ready for baby number four. I think we've covered all our bases if I'm forgetting something leave it in the comments. Um, I'm definitely having a hard time retaining things right now, so it wouldn't surprise me if I forgot something, but I did sit down and try and write everything down before I filmed. I do have tons of other stuff that like is 
not for the baby, but it's for me postpartum, you know, like nursing bras and, and all sorts of stuff like that. But as far as like for baby, this is what we have. So I hope you like this video. Um, if you're expecting a new baby too, congratulations. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're new. I do homemaking content, motherhood content, homeschool, wife life, all things home. And I would love to have you stick around. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next week.